Hello, Fatality Workers. This is Black Flame from the Fatality Company, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy. It's gonna start the same way we do always by choosing it. Um, it turns out that I had actually deleted all of the uh, random name customizations somehow, so I've uh, gone through and I've re-added them in. So hopefully, at some point in this episode, we should run into one. So go what? A knave with electrophobia. Uh, we've got a paladin with dyslexia and baldness, and we've got an archmage with OCD and dextro, dextrocardia. We're actually going to choose them, just because uh, dextrocardia reverses your HP and MP pools, which might actually be very interesting. I'm going to go and check uh, equipment before I go and do anything else. That. Could get, can I get that? I can. Uh, that's another 30 weight, which will take us up to our limit in a minute, but we also get 16 armor from that. Which is... 7% damage reduction. So, not bad. I don't think there's anything else we can buy from that, though. No? No. Okay. Into the castle we go. And you can see Dextrocardia up at the top. Uh, my mana pool and HP pool are all the way around. Which means that I've got a lot of health, because the mage normally has a lot of mana. I actually forgot, uh, I need to check what spells I've got as well. I've got the blade. Ooh, that's a new one. I'll show you that one soon. Uh, this is actually one of my favourite ones. There we go. Uses mana constantly while it's... Uh, going, but damn, it's actually very powerful. Because I was so focused on showing it off that I ended up uh, taking a few hits there, but I won't. Chest at the bottom. Now oh, that was lucky. Open that up. <laughs> got a nice little uh, tag team in with one of the. Uh, got I can't remember what the spell's called, but Metal Balls of Death, let's just call it that. There we go. And we're actually, the good thing is, we're actually getting mana back from OCD when we break things. We're getting one, but then we're also getting the uh, normal six back from the Archmage's ability anyway. So even though we've got a reduced uh, mana count, uh, we're actually still uh, keeping our mana pretty high, even with the use of spells. Come here. Silly Doomvusers. I think one of the main things that makes Doomvusers difficult to deal with is just the fact that you don't knock them back at all. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Band of Bears. Development time, four months. Release date, August 6th, 2009. This was our second game we ever attempted, and it was for the 2009 Dream Build Play Contest. We found out it was pr it found out about it pretty late, so we had to play catch-up with everyone else. Fresh off the success of DSYP, we decided to go big. Stupidly big. And thus, Cellador Game uh, Games was formed. On top of starting a project well beyond our resources and expertise, we also juggled full-time jobs to get this game running. It was pretty sucky. The game featured the Bears system, Bear Effort Adaptable Room System, which would change rooms depending on the numbers of players playing. The Bears system didn't just tweak numbers, it tweaked puzzles as well. We ended up in the top 20, which was good, but not high enough to actually win anything. Eventually, reality, and common sense, came back to us and we realised we had to scrap the project. Or in a way at least put it on an indefinite hiatus. The demo boss was pretty freaking cool. Fair enough. Hup. Hup. One thing I'm going to try and do this time, that we wasn't doing last time, is I'm actually going to attempt to uh, clear the dungeon before I move on to, say, the forest or anything. So I'm actually going to make sure that I go every single route in this place, because, I mean, that's going to be a way to get a lot of money. I 
I mean, yes, the uh, other areas do give you more money overall, but we won't die as easily going through uh, the dungeon areas. Uh, not dungeon areas, the castle areas. Just gonna keep going right for now, zombie. I always forget actually how high you can jump, because I, I tend to just do that and tap it and then double jump. But you can actually, if you just hold it down, you can jump so high and then double jump. I reckon I've quite a lot of uh, gold already. Oh, a jukebox room, yay! Uh, you can actually listen to the entire soundtrack through these. For example. Yeah. Barrels. Money! Nothing else in here by the looks of it. Oh, I just swapped spells completely accidentally. Smack him! Smack him again. Oh, there's a chest up there. I wonder if I can actually get in there with them. Nope, okay. That money's going to waste. <laughs> I'm continuing to go right. Okay, this is the edge of the forest, so we'll go back now. Main problem is, of course, if I'm not dying, this these episodes are going to take so long. <laughs> oh, well. Let's uh, drop down here, then. Damn it, purpley... I'm not sure what, whether they're even purple. I called them purple before. But to be fair, looking at them now, they're a bit like more maroon. Colored. Oh no. That was a very risky and stupid move. Oh, another Doombus. Come on, Doombus. There you go. And we're done. Jump over that Doombus. Jump over that guy, smack him. Jump over that guy, attack, smack him a bit. Then we can go back to the Doombus. And smack. Oh. Oh, no. All the way down. Smack. Oh, f fell onto another Doombus. Fantastic. What are? Okay, now we can go back up and deal with these guys. Hello, you. Smack, smack. Smack, smack. Doom us now. Okay. <laughs> oh, how many room exits are there? There's left, right, and down. So we'll go left first. Oh, it's one of these. Should I try it? Okay. What this is? Greetings, adventurer. I am here to give you the chance of a lifetime. For the measly sum of 25% of your gold, I will give you a chance to open one of these three chests. One chest will triple the amount you paid. The other two are empty. Let's give it a shot. You were lucky this time. Yeah, look at that. Whoa. We actually got a diamond in there, which, like, gave us 550, so I'm assuming, well, we've got the little gold boost, so that would be, what, 500? I've not actually seen one of them before. Awesome. Let's go down, man. Ooh, boss room. Fair enough. Of course, not going through there, but at least it gives us two chests. Oh, and, uh, health. Yeah, the two statues next to the boss door, and I think the other teleport rooms when you're travelling into new sec sections always have one statue that gives you health and one statue that gives you mana. Let's go straight across. Uh, I reckon that's one of the rooms where you'll fall down to spot. Okay, now this is obviously uh, going down into the darkness, so I'm just going to teleport back to... 
Oh, I thought there was a teleporter in the boss room. There are, yeah, there is. I couldn't actually and that was a bit weird. Well, there was something I wanted to change, actually. Uh, I completely forgot to do. It's not in there. It is... Hmm. Don't know where it is now. Okay, never mind. I'll look for it in a bit. I know that there's a way that you can set it to quick drop, so if you press down on the D-pad, it just drops you. It'll drop you down those ledges without you having to press down at A. And it'll also do the uh, down attack for you as well. Of course, this is talking about... Oh, this is a fairy chest room. What's the rule? What? It's not giving me the rule. I'm guessing not to take damage, so I'm going to leave before I get murdered. Although it's odd that it didn't tell me. Hmm. Oh well. Because that's the kind of room that it always does the... Uh, ...to not take damage ones for, you know, where it's really hard to not take damage. See, this is one of the... These things are one reason why I want that down thing, because I could just jump up and press down on the D-pad and smack them rather than having to rely on the fact that it will uh, register. Okay, so we're going to head back to the left up here and uh, go down at the first room on the left over here. There we go. Ooh, fairy chest, no jumping. Okay. Not fun. So basically, if we go down the wrong path, then we're scuffered. So I can see bookshelves on all of these, except this one. Nope, I was wrong. It was the one in the middle. Damn. I don't know why I thought bookshelves... Actually, no, it wasn't even. It was this one. I don't know why I thought bookshelves would stop from being a drop down, but you know. I figured there'd be something different to uh, give me a clue, but I guess there wasn't. Okay, I'm on this way then. Oh, one of these. Okay. See, this is another place where that down thing will come in handy. There we go. And... Huh. Come on, there's got to be some kind of secret in a room like this. Apparently not. Hmm. Odd. Oh, of course, now I've got to go back again. That was very close to uh, me falling, then. But I didn't, so it's all good. This is definitely the best run that we've had so far, up to 2,233 gold. Where else have we got to go in in the castle? We've got to go up. Because we've not found the entrance to the tower yet. So I'm guessing that'll be this one. Charites. There we go. Easily dealt with. Oop! Don't want to stand on the table. I'm actually surprised how well I'm doing when I've not even... <laughs> when I'm using a character with quite low damage. Well, I think I got the cannon that was on the ground, at least. Okay, from here we've got a right and an up, so we will go right to start with. Uh, okay, right again then, I guess. That's not doing this, is it? No. Okay. Simple little uh, platforming bit. Gonna have plenty of upgrades after this. Although I'm surprised we've not found any um, blueprints or anything in any of the chests. 
what I've found so far. It's a little disappointing. Ta-da! Dear God, I've been recording for nearly 15 minutes and this is the first character. Oh dear. Castle's much bigger than I thought. And actually, we've just gone um, back over where we went right before. So. Whoa, slow down. What's happening? Why is my computer deciding to hate me? Hmm, that's weird. First time I've experienced slowdown, and it's not even a very. Uh, Intensive segment, really. That guy just flew behind that painting, so I know for a fact that that's a Doombus. <laughs> wow, there's a l quite a few enemies in here, actually. I've seen more. Ow. Okay. And we're dark. In this chest. Ah, still no blueprints. Sad face. I was hoping we'd get some fancy new equipment to buy with all this money. Seems we're nearly at 30 grand. At 30 grand? Jeez. <laughs> at 3 grand. Yeah, I'm getting some quite bad slowdown all of a sudden. Um. Don't know what my computer's doing, but. It isn't happy. Whoa, that was close. Ah, okay, and here's the uh, way up to the mayor. Got like one more room down here to investigate. Just to the right of this room. Uh, and then we can move on into the forest. I don't like this room. I also don't remember being in it, although it's already revealed, so I'm sure I must have been. Come on, once more, once more. There we go. Oh. Twice more, I was wrong. Oh, this goes into the forest anyway. That's kind of convenient. I have no mana. These horses are not very good. I mean, they do a lot of damage, but... They're not exactly smart. Oh god, a wog. No! No! Wog! <laughs> ah, that almost killed me. Oh dear. Let's rush him after his next one. Ta ta ta. I've got to go up. Uh, go! Uh. Oh no. Shoot, go back down, that fireball almost hit me. Uh, between the shots. I'm on three health. No! Mr. Bones! Mr. Bones, no! Mr. Bones! Ah! <sighs> Lady Sonya has been slain by a Mr. Bones. Okay, number two. Uh, see, once again, it, it makes me think that it's reset itself again. Got a miner. Oh, we got them last time. We may, uh, yeah, we'll use miner this time. Right, we've got 3,000, so 
I guess one thing that I do want to really do is do that. How much money is that left? Is it like 2,000? Because then we get more room for equipment. Like, say, night leggings, which give us more magic power, and a night cape, which gives us critical damage. Why? Because I like to match. Actually, can I even equip the cape as well? No, I need more weight. I need another five. So we'll go and buy one more of that, because why not? Then we can go and equip the cape and see what else we want to buy. Green cape! There we go, now we're in full night garb. Now, miners are actually very weak, but you get a gold bonus for them. Oh, I think it's an extra 30%. So on top of the rune that we've already got, um, that'd be pretty good. Great strength. And upgrade. Ah, strength again, why not? That's all of our money gone. 27 to 30 damage with this guy. That means that even a miner that's actually really weak will still be able to uh, do quite a bit of damage. So just think about like how much the shinobi will do now. Mm. Okay. On again, uh, we'll go down the stunt. Oh, I've got some uh, cannon things. One shot. And down the smack. Yeah, I noticed we're getting 14 gold per coin. Which, of course, if you think we got 11 last time, just think of how much more gold we would have got. Also, woo, secret. Uh, left. Okay. And we got a Squire chest plate. It doesn't matter because we've already got the upgraded version of a Squire chest plate on. <sighs> oh god. Do I really want to do this? Yeah, there's a chest at the end. Oh, that was terrible timing. I'm going back. <laughs> right, okay, now I'll go. on it just after the one that is aiming at it has shot. Oh god, but I've got to go back again. I want to go just as it's about to get shot at, I guess. There we go. Didn't get hit on the way back. That was awesome. Whoa, spikes. Forgot about them. Of course, we've got a lot less health this time than we did last time. Whoa. Back, Char, right, back. Down again. I've not even really been paying attention to the... Damn it. I've been doing... Uh, I've got what you call a doom versus. I'll just call you a doom trait, but they're the upgraded ones that we ran into up in the uh, mayhem. I keep calling it mayor. I know it's the tower as well, but I'm also not sure if it's like Maya or something. I can say perhaps it maybe. Smack, smack, smack. Oh, I expected to one shot him and I didn't. And smack, I'm only <laughs> I'm on one health. That's I think this is, well if I was about to say I think this is the lowest you can go. It's like yeah yeah it it kind of is. You know, you can't go below one without dying. <laughs> Whoa, almost got hit by that guy's shot. Whoa, that's the wrong way somehow. Fantastic. Oh, down into the uh, thing. Gone then. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually kill anything down in the darkness. Isn't this like the exact room that we... Wow. Got killed by the flame wall turrets. Huh. <sighs>
Yeah, that was the exact same room that we was just in, except for it was the darkness version. Okay, number three. See, once again, I'm... It's making me think that there's not... The characters again. Hmm. Don't want Paladin, Barbarian King, Miner. Don't want another Miner. Nah, I think I'm going to go Paladin, because I, I like the amount of damage that they put. And 560, we shall put it into... Can we get another rune for that? Like, I know that this is the sprint rune that it started unlocked. Yeah, why not? So now we can go... Oh, that doesn't cost mana? That's awesome, I can just go smack, dash, smack, dash. Actually, it might cost mana, I don't know. Um... We're not in the place yet. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, after this one, if we don't get one of the names, I'm gonna go and check the text file again. Um. Oh yeah. Also, we're stereo blind, so we can't see things in 3D, which is why we kind of disappear when we turn around. Uh. Look. Oh, that's not good. Whoa! Bam! So the uh, Paladin's up to doing 40 damage now. You know, I really don't use the uh, class abilities enough, do I? Like, the shield. What was that? I mean, it just... You wow. It just uses too much mana. And I never really think in time to use it. Well, I mean, we're one-shotting things again, just as if it was a shinobi, but we're still doing much less damage, even. Down. Big guy. Smackity smack. Whoa. Ah, I fell right into that. Wait, why am I still running? I could dash at them. Okay, don't don't actually dash at them. That's... See, it's the same as when I got the vault room. It's like I I've just got to use it now. Because it's there. Uh, while I'm... Oh, another journal entry. Yeah, while I'm checking the names after this character, I will uh, see if I can find that option I was on about as well. Journal entry three. I've paid my dues and entered the castle proper. That devil Charon has taken all that I own as payment. He has even pilfered my private coffers. I have left my wife and children with nothing. He says it's the price for any and all who has at the depths of the castle. He says it's fair. It is fair because all who have entered none have returned. But I will change that. I will be victorious. There is no greater swordsman than I, even amongst my si siblings. Wow. <sighs> okay, we're not going down there again. Although, to be fair, it wasn't even the enemies that took us out last time. It was just my stupidity. Okay, we'll go down this way. Spikes. What the heck? What? I've never seen these. They're like sideways versions. Oh, you are kidding me. That's... There we go. It kept... Uh, when I was attacking down, you see how it gives me the little boost upwards? It kept doing that and knocking me out of the area, which reset it. So when I fell back down, I fell back to the bottom again. Oh, and now I'm just failing the platform. No! Spiky ball! I won't go back up this way again. I keep forgetting to break things. Like that. Oh, I thought I was just gonna make it. Oh, spikes. 
Oh, it's one of these. Okay, I've actually seen one of these uh, recently. In a video, not actually. Um, I've never actually ran into one in real life. A carnival room. Hi there! Let's see how good you are at your skills. You only get one shot, but it's free of charge. If you succeed, I'll give you a nice reward. You get five axes to destroy as many targets as possible. Leave less than ten standing and you get a special prize. Care to try? Okay, I guess. Um... Damn, that's a lot of targets. This is not something I am good at. No, that's more than 10. 87. Oh, 13. You left more than 10 targets remaining. I guess you don't want the prize, Snarf. What the hell, Snarf? Is that him laughing? Is that how he laughs? Snarf, Snarf, Snarf. It's weird. Oh well, I don't know what the special prize is. I'm gonna guess it's a rune or something. Uh, but I have no idea how to do those puzzles properly, so. Uh, uh. Smack. And we'll go down the air then. Scale bobble. Oh wow, I just jumped straight into that. I are good at this game. Nah, I'm actually getting better at it. I know, because uh, I've already put the first episode up by the time that I'm recording this, I know I actually forgot to put the disclaimer thing that I was talking about in the first episode in the one. Oh well. Uh, it should be in the second one, I think. I was tempted to put an annotation in to uh, say it instead, but... Ah, well. Not many people I know actually have annotations turned on. Okay. This is simple. Now, I'm wondering whether you can dash jump or not using... Oh, wow, no, but you do definitely go straight. That's handy to know. Okay. That was a nice, easy way to get some monies. Uh, okay, now we need to go back up to the... Well, there's only one exit, I fear enough. thought there was one to the right, but there is not. Schmack. One is. And now we can go to the left. Ow. Barrels and a flanky. Uh, okay, we got some money, I guess. Can we add us? Ah! Yes, yes we can. <laughs> oh dear. The uh that is fantastic. And I'm going back this way when I shouldn't. Uh I should I wish I'd never found out that I could air dash now. I'm gonna be killing myself all over the place. Oh wow, that was awesome. I took out all three of those eyes with two swordsmen. Let's see if I can hit him on the way down. Yeah! <laughs> Don't know why that was so impressive, but it was. Alright. You... suck. And here's the entrance to the forest. Back we go. Whoa. Why do I want to go in here? Whoa! <laughs> Accidental air dashing. Okay, there's one other area, but I know that's going to lead up to where the mayor is, so I guess we can just go through into the forest. like his positioning. Slimes! Again, very, very stupid. 
Oh, I want that food. Can I get that food without taking it? Oh, wow, wow. I'm impressed, good sir. Managed to pick up a bit of chicken off of them, off of the uh, spikes without taking damage. Oh, that did not look good. Oh, no, it's just two of them. I thought there was uh, one thing doing that then. I was like, oh, no, it's a champion. There's two of them, so it's... Nope. I couldn't stop standing on the park. Smack. Ow. Okay, that doesn't actually hurt me. It just knocks me backwards, so I'm not too bothered about that. I'm just attacking from the front. It almost seems like kind of a weak enemy, just because they don't do damage unless you touch them. But they don't kind of move to attack you. Oh, this is going to be horrible to come back through. Because this, you know, going this way, I can just literally just shimmy along with it. We're going back again, it'll be coming towards me. And there is absolutely nothing in the room. Oh, fantastic. I'm gonna die for no reason. Wow. That was a run of faith, and it worked. That was awesome. Back. Oh, what? Why have I got axes? Oh, um. Yeah, there we go, Savant. Um, randomized spells. Okay, I didn't actually notice that. Yeah, it says something about, like, you're good at everything. There's not really anything you can't do in the uh, description for it on the character creation. And it pretty much just makes it so that every time you fire a spell, it randomly selects one for you to use. Actually, I keep seeing these darkened sections, and I'm almost thinking that, like, dwarves would be able to get through those. Like, if you've got a dwarfism character. Okay, there's no chest in there, so that's not worth climbing. I mean, yeah, there may have been some destructibles on top that I could have got some money from, but... To be fair, I don't think that's worth the risk of spikes. Okay. Ooh. Uh, big fire guy. Ow. Spike balls. I don't have the mana. Luckily, his seem more random than the uh, guy that shoots the three shots. Smack, smack, smack. Oh, wow, the flipping ball comes off it. I forgot about that. Uh, no. <laughs> I couldn't jump up because there was the other fireball above me. Ooh, up to two rows of enemies. Very nice. Okay, I will be back shortly. Okay. Uh, the names were there, so I'm guessing we're just getting unlucky. With the, like, amount that they showed up before, I expected to see one. But, oh, and the quick drop thing's there. You probably all saw it before and were yelling at me. But there it is. Okay, so we've got Sir Jacoby, Sir Gans, and Sir Taco. Uh, Miner with who's a high ADHD hypochondriac. We've got a Paladin with peripheral artery disease who's nostalgic, and we've got a Bold Shinobi. I'm gonna have to go with the Shinobi just because I really want to see how much damage he does now. Uh, we're also gonna get the Bar uh, Haggle, not Barter, from the corner because then we can upgrade Shinobi to Hokage, um, which is 970 though, and we can also unlock the Lit. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to unlock critical damage, and I don't think, no, we can't unlock that yet. Nothing else in there that we can't. He apparently has the new stuff, which is the Squire's chest plate. Um, ten less weight, but seven less armor. So, nope. Bam. Seventy damage. Yes. I shall one-shot it all. If I come across the boss this time, I will take him on. Uh, 
uh, the thing goes. In fact, that's a good point. That down route that we didn't take last time um, must have had the boss in it for the castle. Whoa, falling. I'm not using it and I have it now. I, uh... Yep. Oh, I... Oh, okay. It's not just down on the D-pad. It is literally just down. I'm not sure whether I like that. I am getting murdered. There is a lot of enemies in this room. Jeez. Oh, I nearly flew into him, and that would have been the end of this character. Whoa. Don't do that. Okay, let's go grab the chest. Wow, it was a measly amount of gold. No jumping again. Um, it's not going to be the same, is it? Oh, you're kidding me. It wasn't even the right one there. It was the right hand one. Uh, I'm so bad at this. Wait, if I go into here and do... I could just have a look at the map. Damn it, why didn't I think of that sooner? It's twice I've come across that room and twice I've failed now. Eh, we'll go this way then. We are we are going boss hunting. I don't think I'll make that, but I'm going to try it. No, I'm not. I, I don't think I'll be able to make it, and I, that would kill me. Whoa! No! No! <laughs> that didn't kill me, luckily. It just made me... Damn it! <laughs> I was just about to burst into sound. No. That was terrible. Compared to the last one, uh, last ones from this one, anyway. Lady Stephanie, Lady Antoinette, and... Lisa. We're going to go with Lisa because she has the translocation and is a ninja. Smack. Smack. Okay, 94. Yeah, see, that's the haggle thing. We only had to give him 94% of our money instead of all of it. Which means we go in with 20 coins. Yeah. Okay, let's go boss hunting again. I want to see if we can actually take him down this episode. Stop. It depends on how reckless I am playing as a shinobi, which I always am reckless playing as a shinobi. Which is bad, because they're like my favourite character, which means <laughs> I will pick them a lot of the time. I don't know how I'm supposed to get in those, but I also keep forgetting that I can just drop down. Uh, I don't know. I just looked up and saw that there was a chest in that room that I missed. Um, yeah, see, this is another one that I'm on about. If I got, there's a little darkened section there, just like there was on the floor when we could drop down for the super. Of course, I'm way too tall to fit in there, and there's no way of crouching or anything. So, the only way that I could think is if you were, uh, if you had dwarfism. Okay. Guess we'll head down. Take no damage. Wow. Oh, flipping bookshelves! I didn't realise about that. I was like, yeah, okay, this should be pretty uh, easy for me to handle. But no, because the bookshelves stop me from going down again. And that would should have been easier with my new ability to uh, 
drop with a single key press or whatever. I should I've just realized I've missed a room. Ah. Oh, good job that I went back for it. Oh, that's a Doombus. Luckily there's a uh, little grace period. So I don't uh, didn't get any damage from the spike. Oh, that was actually pretty good. I was I'm I'm proud of that. Don't attack the treasure chest. Whoa! Don't shoot me, mister. Um, wow. Literally, oh, this is the only way now. Huh. Okay, we'll go left. Ooh, daggers. Do I want daggers instead of quantum translocation? No, not really. Another room with uh, everything. Now you can see every time that I try to drop down the old way because I'll do that. I'll do that and jump back up again because I'm pressing A. Okay, coming over. I didn't even realise that was up here. I probably should have paid more attention to the map. Because if I had, I could have placed one of the uh, quantum things at the start, like that. And then teleported back again once I'd grabbed the treasure. Like... Oh, what is it? Night sword, yes! An upgrade for a sword. Just do that. Go back to Rome. There's a question mark in there? Did I miss something without realising it? Oh my god! What the heck are you? A Solok. I'm guessing that's something to do with solar? It's like a sun version. Ow. I do not want to get hit by one of those. Oh, wow, see? I got hit by one of those. Whew. That was not nice. Hey, that is the end for this episode. Thank you all for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.